Hey, my name is Jonathan. You can follow me at at O'Donnell Carl on, twi on Twitter. I want to show you today how to post on Twitch TV really easily if you're using a Mac computer and if you're using Mavericks. Uh, you'll notice Cam Twist is what everyone says to use online, but that's not really the best place to do because it says here it doesn't work with Flash Media Live Encoder. Use Cocoa Split instead. So if you click on the this link, this Cocoa Split link, it takes you to this website. So it's GitHub.com, Zach4243 Cocoa Split. And I'll put that in the description. But uh, you can download the file by getting the binaries right here. And you can click this button here to say Coco Split Current Zip. And that will uh, download it for you. And then you can run the, the file. So if I run it, Coco Split, um, it already has a lot of things set here, but it comes with nothing set. So what you have to do is click on Desktop if you want to record your desktop for a video game or something. You can also click um, like QT Capture which lets you then choose cam twist or uh, you know mini cam or whatever you want to do to record your game but usually desktop should be fine uh, in cam twist you can also use the siphon option to get cam twist but I don't have cam twist running right now so if I click on desktop and I click on whatever screen I want to like if I click on uh, sync master that's this screen you can see a little preview at the top you choose the resolution and if I click none it means that it'll just keep the resolution that I've said Use source will use something like cam twist if I set it up here in the other settings and preserve aspect ratio. I mean, you don't really need that. Let's just put 720. You also need to set this to something higher than zero, 30 preferably. And uh, then select your microphone, which is your built in microphone. And that's fine, 120, 4400. You can also click on these settings to get more uh, advanced stuff. So I have it as very fast, tune as nothing, profile high, 3000, like you can see there, use CBR mode. So that's all you need to do. Then what you do is over here, you click on Twitch TV and you click add and you choose a server that's closest to you. So mine is US East, Ashburn, Virginia. And then you put in your key, which is your stream key. So let's go there for a second. So if we go to twitch.tv, whoops. So we go to twitch.tv and I go to my, so you have to log in first and then go to the dashboard. And then if you click on streaming apps, whoops, that was wrong, go to dashboard, there, stream key, sorry. You click on stream key, click show key, it'll populate a list here, and uh, then you can just take that key that you found and go back into um, Cocoa Split and add that key inside of here. I've already added mine in. So what I can do is start to stream this. So I'll just click stream. And uh, it takes the other page and you'll see that the FPS start changing numbers. If these aren't anything, if they all say zero, just go back to the uh, settings page and remove this and add a new one to try a different server for Twitch. Or make sure that your frames per second is higher than 30. So if we go here, now we can see on my regular page, this is my dashboard and below up the video, it takes a 15 second delay to stream on Twitch. So sometimes it takes a while for it to populate. So let's see if it pops up here in a second. Loading video is a good sign. Otherwise, it'll say offline in the corner. And there it is. So now I'm streaming on Twitch. And here is the, the stuff that I'm doing. And you can see it's a little bit delayed. See, I'm still going through the settings menu. But now I'm streaming on Twitch. And you can adjust. If you have the volume settings, you can hear it echo back because it's playing that. So you'd have to mute the volume while you're talking in your regular stream. And yeah, so from here in the dashboard, you can check all the chat room things and make sure your stream's still working. But when you're done, you go to Coco Split and just click stop and stop streaming. And that is how you stream on Twitch TV with only one program. And hopefully that works for you. There's lots of other ways to make it more complex, but that should be good enough for now. So yeah, if you take the chance, follow me on at O'Donnell Carl or uh, check me out on GitHub. Here's my, uh, here's my GitHub profile, Johnny2779. And on Twitter, it is... O'Donnell Carroll, at O'Donnell Carroll. Thanks a lot.